What's going on? We're being protested. Those two vendidas piss me off so much. Go back to Coachella! <laughs> Your show is so beloved by like so many people for so many different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, have you had, what are some of like the more endearing like fan responses that you can really remember? Like people that have just been like, that person really stands out to me for like how much, how cool they are. Well, I think the LGBTQ aspect is the biggest one where people are like, for sure. wow, they're feeling seen. For sure. You know, yeah, I yeah. definitely think that's like, the biggest one. And then also just the fact that the, we're brown faces. Yeah, the the representation of the community. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I've gotten that to where it's like, oh man, thank you guys for showing like, mm -hmm. you know, how it is and this and that. Like, it's, you know, as I said before, like yeah. it's, it's not like romanticized anyway. It's just kind of how it is, you know, it's uh, the gentrification, the, yeah. the, the community and the people talking to each other and like just showing yeah. the neighborhood how. Yeah. yeah, I've gotten that a lot from people, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Sitting in the rooms when the screenings, like when we were in Bull Heights, uh, Casa 0101, or when we were in uh, just hearing the the you know the the queer community at the at the LGBTQ center when we did a screening there, their response from the Latinx community is coming from a depth in their core. They haven't heard these jokes ever on television before, and to be so specific, <laughs> it was mm -hmm. like something I can't even describe to hear that roaring laughter come so genuinely from people who sometimes are really closed off to that representation because it was so not authentic or so romanticized, you're, like you're saying. So that has been the best, like, to hear them actually genuinely respond. And the timing, too, like um, the generational use of Chicano yeah. language, you know, is, mm -hmm. is, is embodied with Eddie being old school and using, like, the some of the words that aren't generally used by the more you know, millennial Chicanx community. So it's yeah. pretty cool to and have even that. Even for me, I learned. Like, oh, yeah. I honestly <laughs> thought parquear was how you say park in <laughs> Spanish. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So there's so much stuff that I'm learning about myself, but I'm born and raised in, in uh, like, Montebello, East L.A. So I have that mentality, and I don't realize that that's very much how we speak, not, like, Spanish. So it's funny to learn that. That's really, that's been really funny. And, like, a lot of people are like, hey, man, like, that's how I, I talk. I, I've learned a lot as well, too. I would say, like, with the terminologies of, like, mm -hmm. the they, them, and the the non-binary, and, like, just all of that stuff is that I was not particularly familiar with, you know? Like, and that's really helpful in the, to me. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> it's been... It's he been, can stand up for me in public and tell him yeah. that's not, you're not using the right gender pronoun. And yeah. Fucking Res I'm respect. Crying. Respectfully. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. <laughs> There's real shit out there. This man has white tongues. I'm seeing how the impact of the sh what the impact of the show has been on other shows and other sh um, productions. I do see that, um, for example, when see Showtime having the uh, work in progress. I don't know if that would have been possible without our show being like the way that it's uh, the acclaimed show that we have and. What as how I feel is not ever seeing a butch lesbian front and center. And so that's been not seeing it enough and it's continually to see the numbers of Latinx representation on television every day is like every season we see the shows and we're like, yes, there's more, but there's also the other issue of the LGBTQ uh, representation as well as a Latinx representation. So I'm very proud of the show because it does it in a very natural way and I think sometimes it's hard to love a show that's LGBTQ if it's not really like coming from an authentic place it's come it's more exotified mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the L word learned and they cast people of color actually playing the right race <laughs> and like mm -hmm. and that was something that's huge yeah. and then even for me like as a Latina I have a tougher <coughs> exterior so I tend to play the chola mm -hmm. and this was one of those experiences where Mari's not a chola and I still, right. even though people watch the show, they still identify me as a troll. And I'm like, no, she's not. Like, she's an activist. And yeah. yes, she has dark lips and she has a bandana and hoops, yeah, but that doesn't make her a chola. So it's, it's fun to play a character that, like, is different, even though she's still seen the same way. And I still have that debate with people to this day. Like, no, she's not a chola. Oh, yeah, you're the chola from Vida. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah. not. Like, she's an activist. She's yeah. an edge. Yeah. <laughs> to, to expand on that, that's how I felt. Oh about Johnny like it was it was refreshing to see uh, kind of mm -hmm. and every guy in every everyday man you know like an average dude that's just not necessarily who an speaks English you know he speaks like he's not talking with an accent he's not like these are 
an, an everyday dude who's just kind of going through pe- what people go through, you know, family issues, mm-hmm. dealing with the baby mama, and just, and he wasn't your stereotypical yeah. Latin man, you know we're what all, I mean? No drugs. Felix. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't have that storyline, which is really not only refreshing, it's damn well, you know, dang well, <laughs> you know, revolutionary. If you got a chance to know your dad, it's getting louder and louder. I think you should take it. You know, on a show like Vita, what difference does that, does it like a representative and more deserve? diverse set make? Like, how does it feel different? It's surreal because of how many women are there and women of color. And that's something where we could do sex scenes and there is a female DP and a female boom operator, which is never really a thing. Um, I think now with our show specifically, we have that. And now I think other shows are starting to have that. So that's one of the biggest changes. Again, I wasn't doing sex scenes when I was seven, but so I don't know how it was exactly. <laughs> um, but it's just the, I think women are more empowered now. And I think we realize that we have so much more of a voice than I think they felt 20 years ago. So that for me is like the biggest thing to just see way more women involved. And not only in like the makeup department, but in construction or in grips yeah. or in lighting. You know what I mean? Like we're expanding and we're showing like we can do it all. Yeah. You just have to let us and stop being threatened by us. This is not my drama. Are you okay? Just know I seen him with my own eyes. Poppy, is he really alive? 